some supercars there, and some more here. Here's the chrome green Gallardo. Morning guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you all doing? I am in a massive rush this morning. I've been given a deadline. I think I've got five minutes to get down to the post office to send back some festival tickets. If they appeared on my Instagram and Twitter yesterday, you would see that I didn't make it in time, but I'm pretty sure that the post office shuts early on a Wednesday, so I really, really hope that I can make it in time. Um, and the BMW X5 is transporting me down there. There's the tickets down there. Basically, um, we ordered tickets to go uh, towards the end of August to some sort of concert or festival. I can't remember what it was. Can't go, and now I'm in a rush to get them back. I'm all, I've basically I've missed the deadline today, but Ticketmaster have been quite nice of allowing me to send them back today. As long as I scan over the receipt to say that the proof that I've sent them today, so it's a bit of a pain, um, but I'm going to make it. Right, I'm at the Royal Mail. Not sure whether you can see that. You can probably see that sign there. Good news is, I've made the deadline in terms of sending off my envelope. The bad news is, <laughs> my envelope is still in the car. The post office are currently living in 1995. They only take cash or check to send stuff. Cash or check. I just got out my debit card to just pay the six quid it costs to get it to them in the following day and they wanted a check. Sounds quite nice. Aston Martin Vantage. Another Aston Martin, it's an Aston Martin day. This car is much taller than an Aston Martin. As you can see, I'm now fully prepared for the afternoon's plan um, and actions, or plan of actions, what's the phrase? Comment below, what, the, what is the phrase? Plan of action? Plan of act? is that it? I don't know, anyway, I'm ready for the afternoon. Whatever decides to get thrown at me. Definitely going into central London, and I'm not sure what the percentage of chances are that I'm gonna be over get, getting over to Surrey this afternoon, so we'll play it by ear. But I do wanna head over there, and it'll be really good to meet up with Jonathan and head down to Romans International, which is, um, the supercar dealership down in Surrey. I've never been, but I've been following them for so long, ever since I was about 12 or 13 years old. So they've always got insane cars in stock. SB's looking quiet today. We've got the 190E, which is a little project that the SB guys are doing. Basically, they are kitting that out in to be a little race car. It's gonna be awesome. And then to the left of me, we've got an F40, which has been here. Um, well, it was here yesterday as well. They park it in there, basically, SB have got about 20 customers that have got these cars and all of them are red. So it looks like there's just one here all of the time when really, I think there's been three here at once. If you check back a long way on my Instagram, it's mental. Um, this is it, but the pictures aren't loading. You can see that? It's really nice spec, yellow brake calipers. The interior is the best bit about it, but no pictures are loading. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. Really, really nice car, and unfortunately it's been sold. Now the vlog is gonna get exciting. It's gonna get interesting. I'm heading into London and the sun is shining. It's the second week in August, or are we still in the first week of August? I think we're still in the first week of August. So this is when London should be peaking in terms of supercars and in terms of activity. So I'm hoping that this evening is gonna be a lot of fun and we're gonna um, catch a lot of cars on camera. I've got the aircon on because it is 22 degrees outside. And this goes back to the whole idea behind starting these daily vlogs. The idea was to show you what goes on behind the scenes on the Supercars London YouTube channel when it's during the supercar season. So when all of these cars are in London driving around. That is what we're gonna be doing today because tomorrow and Friday, apparently, it is gonna be like thunderstorms and apparently flash flooding everywhere. So lucky I've got a four wheel drive car I can go through. This car could basically go through a sea, but I'm not entirely sure whether there's going to be any cars driving around tomorrow and Friday if the weather 
is as bad as the weather forecast says it's going to be. So we're taking full advantage of today. I'm hopefully gonna meet up with a few people and wander the streets until relatively late at night trying to find some supercars in action. I've made it onto Park Lane and the majority of the new arrivals, I think, are at the Dorchester and 45 Park Lane. 45 Park Lane is where the Pagani's, the Enzo and the F12 is, then on new arrivals, but they're back from the south of France. So let's just point the camera around at the Dorchester and see whether we can see some new arrivals. Now to the left, you can go in the congestion charge zone, but I haven't paid for it today. Oh look, there is a Q8 F12, Q8 two F12s and a Wraith. And then, as you can see there, Enzo and Shinkwe. Yes, they look so good. Aventador. Nice. Wow, so a taxi um, was getting fire extinguished. I think it caught fire, uh, which is why the traffic was so bad that after the Aventador roads that I saw, I didn't film much, but I'm here now, waiting for Dimmy to come out of uh, where he lives, and I decided to be a little bit proactive. So I have set up a Supercars of London clothing Instagram page, and the reason is I was gonna start promoting it through my own one, uh, Wallace PGW, and then also Supercars of London. However, I obviously have visions of where this is gonna go, and I hope that one day Supercars of London or SOL Clothing has its own sort of entity or brand identification, which is why I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna to have to set up another twi uh, Instagram and it's gonna be a Twitter. So if you wanna follow it, I will get it up right now. I have not done anything yet, but that is it. SOL Clothing CO, so Supercars of London Clothing Company. Um, and I haven't even done a logo yet, but that is basically, what I have done at the moment, I'm gonna to have to do Twitter as well, it's gonna be exactly the same, or I hope it's gonna be exactly the same, it all depends on whether that name is taken or not. So this is the taxi that caught fire. Don't know whether the owner's still in it. There you go, look. Woo! So it was all shut off, but now we are free. I don't think you can fit in it. I think you're gonna to have to be cropped out of the frame, unfortunately. Don't worry. Dimitri. <laughs> left? Oh, no, you can't go left there. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, belly stuffed. Mm. And we've still got some light. I'm gonna do a U-turn here, see what this turning circle is like. Go on, go, 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 go. Oh, what an epic fail. Reverse. And let's go into Knightsbridge. The Aventador I saw earlier, part with a Qatari C63, pretty cool. Oh, we've got the Gold 458 that everyone that has never seen it before gets excited, but everyone who has seen it before ends up seeing it here for the rest of the summer. Because <laughs> it is always here. Some supercars there. And some more here. Here's the chrome green Gallardo. Where is Enzo, yeah, Chink right there, back. all the back. The Veyron is there, I don't know if you can see that. We've come up to see the 6x6 that isn't here. But the Veyron's there, and that was the worst footage of a Veyron ever. looking apart from this snazzy blue line here I'm gonna do a three-point turn and then try and sign off and summarize what has happened tonight in London because what looked to be promising turned out to be 
incredibly strange. So I arrive into London, see the 918, we're like, oh my God, that one's come back. All of these cars have gone down to the south of France and then come back. So the 918's appeared, then a few other cars have appeared, a couple of Lambos, and I'm thinking this is gonna be a good evening. I would know where they all disappear. The blue Tron Aventador is back. Um, a couple more Aventadors are back. A few Range Rovers, a few Wraiths, a few uh, the Bugatti, the red carbon and cream Bugatti's back. So all of these cars are coming back into central London and then out of nowhere, they all disappear as if they're all going to get clean. I don't know where they've gone, but they've all disappeared. So it got very quiet very quickly. So I'm now heading home and finishing the day and finishing the vlog whilst I go through a speed camera. Luckily, under the speed limit. Thank you very much for tuning in to this video. I really tried on this one to try and get a little bit more of an exciting vlog than it has been in uh, previous times. Tomorrow, I cannot wait. You would have already seen, or no, maybe you haven't. Yeah, you might have seen some tweets by now of where I, uh, where I am tomorrow at the Samsung launch. I still have no idea what is going on, but it's gonna be an exciting one and hopefully a good event to network with as well. So hopefully I can meet some, meet some cool people and that we can get them all in the vlog. So that's happening tomorrow. And then Friday is the start start of, uh, well, I suppose it's kind of like the start of my second supercar, but I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. Friday is when the sort of search begins. I really appreciate all of your support as always and the insane milestone figures that we've been hitting recently. 100 million views, 100k on Instagram and remember to head over to my Instagram, new Instagram page, SOL Clothing Co. SOL Clothing CO and I've also set up a Twitter account at the moment which is SOL Clothing underscore co so make sure you go and check them out guys I would really appreciate all the support for all of the uh, merchandise that's coming soon I've just had a text as well from the guys at ATW who are just as excited as me um, and we're hopefully gonna have some more samples coming very very soon so yeah like I said I really appreciate the fact that you're all joining me on all of these journeys and adventures and I'm going to continue vlogging and bringing you along with me on all of the rides. So thank you for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow. Train's going and I've decided to call it a day. I'm not going to go into London today but I will show you the exterior of the BMW X5 which I haven't done already yet in this video. I'm going to be going into